Um, yeah. Let's get back to catching some fish. We are leaderboard uh, numero, numero, numero uno one for Prisclean now. I'm too excited. I can't even speak. Oh, God, man. I, I ah! didn't see it coming. I, I wanted it. I anticipated it. But I didn't see it coming. I was talking about fucking, like, something weird. I don't even remember. But, uh... Yeah, normally when you just level... And again, I am leveling up my fishing pole in somewhere with smaller fish. Normally when I level up a fishing pole, it's somewhere without small fish for that reason. Because it's easier. You get more points with big fish. But, uh... It happened. Chris Clean made it happen. Damn, son. I'm still five centimeters off what I know is the record. I think there's bigger than that. That's crazy. So there's room. There's still room. If anybody wants to sneak in here and take it from me. I'm happy. I got I got first. I got a fucking I got proof I was first. I'm good. Deuces. Oh, dude, I, I want to sweep, though. I don't know if anybody's going to challenge me. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to sweep through here. It's not going to be easy. It's going to take every bit of probably three months. Oh, I almost missed that fish. I panicked. I hit it wrong. Um, It's probably going to take me every bit of three months, but we're going to do it. The nice thing about fishing is I can, I can do this shit six days a week when I'm in the zone. Because it's so fuck. It's just sitting here. Um, I would... I thought about getting my DS, but it's just too much. I would have to cast, do a soft reset, catch the fish, reset, like, the whole game, um, get, get up for another Celebi, and it's just like at some point I'm gonna get off rhythm and it's just gonna be like I'm gonna set the controller down for a moment and do a couple soft resets or I'm gonna set the Game Boy down and it's just gonna be there sitting at Celebi for a few minutes and it's just like I might as well focus on the other one. That is one of the few things I am jealous of though as a uh, streamer. And I, I mean I could. I very easily could listen to YouTube or Netflix or do anything, but, I mean, I would get copyrighted. But, that is one of the few things that does suck, is usually when you're streaming, you're not the one that's, like, listening to entertainment while you do a grind. You are the one doing a grind. But, and I don't know, my whole life I've basically not used Netflix as a background noise. It was only until the pandemic that I felt like the need to put something on in the background while I did my video game grinds. And again, 2022 is when I started streaming, so it's really only two years of me using background noise to make my grinds easier. So, I didn't talk to myself though back then. Learning to talk while I streamed was very difficult. I was also so nervous when I first started streaming. I would get so nervous, man. I don't know why, looking back at it, but it took a while. And it wasn't that I was afraid of speaking. It was like I was so afraid of saying the wrong thing, and it was just like, it's like, why would I do? It's like I don't do that in normal conversation. It's like, why am I so afraid of it now? But I do have crippling anxiety, so you know that's probably a factor. I can't help you, Jiraiya boy. You were you were literally asleep before I did all my stuff. Don't don't look at me confused. You could sleep anywhere in the house, buddy. Well, I guess except for where your sisters are. Dude, that's I love it. Oh my gosh, that's so goofy. Leaderboard position one. And I still want to beat it. 
I appreciate that. I love that you've been hanging out all day. Uh, don't be afraid of asking to do that uh, silver run. I know I just said I'm going to be doing this for three months most likely because I'm going to go crazy, but don't be afraid. Just shoot me a message. Or I can, I can send you a friend request on Discord. I think you probably have that. I'm, I'm so new to Discord. I, oh god, every day I use it, I feel like my life is draining. I feel like I'm back in 2008, or no, when did Facebook start? 2012? Probably closer to 2012. That's how I feel, man. Honestly, it's like looking for information on Facebook or something. It just, like, Discord's cool, but, like, as far as it goes for, like, ah, yeah, join the Discord if you want to talk about this game. And it's like, it's literally just a scrolling Twitter feed. It's like, ugh. It's like, I see how it's popular. It's just, as far as data keeping goes, it's one of the most useless forms of it that I've seen. And it sucks that it's the most popular form now. Okay, well, it'll probably take me a while, but I'll let you know if I give up. I'll try to guess it here soon. Um... Usually what I just end up doing is trying a bunch of random things, typing them in until it tells me I'm on a cooldown, but I'm pretty good at guessing. I'll try. Any context clues? You know what? Don't tell me. I'll figure it out. I'm pretty sharp. A bit tired, but I'm pretty sharp. Wow, so that sucks. So that, like, guarantees that the person I was watching didn't have retro achievements up. Because they would be the record holder. They would have to be. Because I, I just checked my record. It's 88 centimeters. And I know they beat me with, like, a... It, it wasn't 90, so it had to be 89. Um... As far as I'm aware, nobody's caught a 90 with proof. Woo! Good Nonkeys, too, though. Good Nonkeys. I'm kind of scared to change the points, man. We can always go up to 9,999 and then level something up. That's what I used to do. The four times I've done this, that's what I would do. I'd level something to 9,999. Or with 9,999 experience. I'd just take it straight to 99. Because I'd like to feel the difference. Because you'd go from like two or one grip or whatever it is to 100 grip instantly. And it's just like, damn, you do okay, yeah, wow, the fish do bite more often. I'm noticing it. Or something else. Like the flight. Going from no flight to max flight instantly, and you're just like, damn, okay, yeah, that is a bit farther. Luck is the only one that I've never been able to be like, uh, what the fuck are you doing? Grip is a weird one. Grip you don't notice, but I swear to god it is bite frequency, because... As you're leveling up your fishing pole, if you start to level up grip, you will notice that, like, you're you're leveling up faster all of a sudden. Because every time I, like, level up my fishing pole, I'm always just like, dude, this is going to take me 18 hours, 19 hours. This is taking forever. And then I get halfway done, and I'm just like, wait, I'm breezing by. When did this happen? And it's just like, oh, shit, yeah, dude, the average went up, and I think grip leveled up. But I don't know, man. I may never know. Maybe one day I'll look at the code. Maybe I won't. Maybe somebody else will. I don't know. Maybe somebody else has, and they've discussed it on the Discord, and I'll never know. Because I don't go on the Discord. Because the last time I went on the Discord, they were all trying to sell me something. They are trying to sell me some weird-ass modified memory card or something like that. And it was just like, I just want to play my game on my PS2. Like, stop, stop sending me links to stuff. 
Like, I can't afford this stuff. Why do you guys think I can afford all this stuff? This is weird. Stop trying to sell me shit. Like, I just want to talk about Dark Cloud. But, nope. Again, I just don't like Discord, I think. I think that's all it is. But I do have one, and I use it for just messaging when I need to chat about something specific. Specifically, like, Pokemon. But... I think my big problem is just the fact that people could have a Discord with a channel, like, labeled Dark Cloud, instead of, like, the official Dark Cloud server being, like, used for just fucking people hanging out. It's weird to me. It's like, you shouldn't be chatting about your daily life in a fucking public forum about a 20-year-old video game. Like, I don't want to hear about your fucking... Your trials and tribulations. Like, send that in a DM. That's not general, Chad. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm a prude. Maybe I'm fucking... Maybe I am conservative. No, I'm kidding. I do believe I am technically conservative because I went to, like, a wildlife college where everybody was super left-leaning. And, like, technically I was the most right of the left. But, like, if you go far enough north, everything's south, so... Yeah, it's kind of one of those situations. Because I am by no means right leaner, but like... If you're literally laying on your left side... To get up, you have to go right, so, like, that's the only way I can describe it. Which is borderline cultist. You can't, like, I hate that shit. It's that us or them mentality. Either side. I don't even want to, you don't even have to talk about anything. In any situation, I hate us or them mentalities. Ugh. I'm not even the best at hearing both sides of an argument, but for gosh sakes, man, it's just... Ugh. Somebody hit me with that recently. They were like, I don't care what Abstract thinks. He's wrong. And it was just like, Jesus Christ, like, you're a grown man with a child. Like, your, your kid's in your fucking profile picture. Like, what the fuck? Like, I cannot believe I'm hearing this at 29 years of age. Like, it's true. The fucking, the bullies don't go away. The bullying doesn't get any better. Like, I, I, this feels like fucking petty ass fucking third grade shit. I don't care what you think. You're wrong. Like, oh. Damn. In the age of evidence, okay. That's, alright. I don't know how to come back to that. Son of a bitch. Whatever I say is wrong. I'm gonna get hit with the fucking I'm rubber, you're glue next. And that's fucking, that's devastating. You just, you have to shut up after that one. Lest you get jinxed on top of it. Oh. Nobody will forget that. The only way out of that is a triple dog dare. My god. Nope. I've been held upside down and shaken for the money in my pockets once. That is literally out of the sh literally out of the shows. I don't know which show, but I might even be wrong about that. Somebody's been held upside down and shaken for money. I guarantee it. That's a that's a thing. But bullies, man. They never change. Once, though. It only happened once. I eventually hit puberty, and, like, you'd have to be freakishly strong to lift me up like that now, but... Pre-pubescent? I was tiny. I was one of those little kids. But... You know, you show up to the local skate park, rocking a couple dollars every single day. Eventually, you get shaken. Was it my fault? No. 
Absolutely not. I just fucking, I brought money for two, oh my god, it makes me mad to even think about it. two McChickens and three Arizona sweet teas. Oh, to even think about buying that for $5 now, unheard of. Uh, actually, the Arizona teas might still be a dollar. They're probably still a dollar. Oh, but the McChickens, man, two McChickens for two bucks, that's not happening. That was the best, man. Go skate, skate up to McDonald's, grab some McChickens, skate over to the grocery store, grab some teas, go back to the skate park. Ugh. That was the child, well, childhood, I'd say. It was teen years. My childhood, I spent riding a bike in the countryside. And it's a, it's a miracle, looking back on it, that I never got ran over. I think the only reason I didn't was because I rode my bike while everybody was at work. Damn, I wish it kept track of the smallest ones, too. Because, like, they were, like, 60 mile an hour back roads with, like, hills and shit. So, like, I... Literally, if I saw another car, I should have been dead. But I don't remember seeing cars ever. Well, I don't ever remember getting off my bike once to get off the side of the road, despite the fact that there was no sidewalk or anything. It was just a ditch on both sides and then cornfield. But just, I always remember being able to ride my bike whenever and however far I wanted. Because there was just no cars, but... Yeah, and then looking back at it, it was because it was the middle of the day and the country. So, yeah, there was no one. Oh, dude, getting, like, staying out just a little too late. Like, you're just, oh, yeah, it's a nice, oh, it's a nice day getting the ride in. And then you realize, like, oh, I'm a half mile out. Oh, it's dark. And it's just fucking cornfields, like, a foot and a half, two feet lower than you because of, like, the drainage ditches. And you're just like, uh, riding as fast as you can because it's just pitch black and you can't see left or right. But you can like, you can see over. You can see that there's houses eventually, but like, you know, you're still, <laughs> oh man. The worst part too is if anything came out, it would be a deer moving faster than you are. So it'd be even scarier. It wouldn't be dangerous but it'd be even scarier. Nothing ever happened though. Just rode my bike even faster, cowardly. Um, I did get scared by deer once though. It, almost exactly that. I was hiking through the woods um, and like it was crazy, but this herd of deer just blew past me. And I just remember freezing and just thinking like, oh wow, this is crazy. Like, I've never seen anything like this. And then like it dawned on me and it was just like, wait, why would they be running? And it was just like, oh, is this it? Like, do I get shot? Like, is there a hunter? I'm about to get fucking drunk shot. Oh no. And then like, I literally like, like not quite like a movie, but angelically like headlights hit me and I realized it was a fucking farmer plowing a field. And it was just like, oh yeah, that's a thing. And then they were probably just sleeping in the fucking nearby field and then booked it to the woods when the farmer got to them. But it was just like, oh yeah. Like, I don't live anywhere where there's predators. <laughs> what, what am I doing? I'm an idiot. I finally moved somewhere though with predators and I went peeing in the woods and I got chewed out for it. Oh my God, I remember that. I just, I literally just went outside and peed and they were just like, do we have bears and mountain lions? And it was like, well, and? It's like they stalk outside of homes. It's like, I don't think they stalk outside of homes. And it's like, for pets they do. And it's like, oh yeah, no, actually, I could see that. People letting their pets in at night and fucking predators just waiting for that. Okay, yeah, no, that was dumb. <laughs> Forgot about apex predators. Forgot about that. That's a thing. I'm just glad there's no giant parasitic wasp. 
parasitic flies, wasps, and other sorts that we have now, yeah, that's curable. Um, even worst case scenario, at a hospital they can have the parasite removed or you take something for it, but like, fucking, I'm glad that it's just like, oh shit! Oh my god, it's the migration of the fucking tarantula human wasp. Or what, no, what would we call it? Not tarantula human wasp. Human, it'd be a human hawk wasp. And just like these giant fucking plane sized wasps, like, come flying in from like the Saharan deserts from all directions and just grab a person and then go to Antarctica and lay an egg in a frozen corpse. And it's like, oh, god damn. Fucking, I hid under the bed this year. Where'd you hide? In the fridge. Oh, nice. God damn. You'd think living super far away from the desert you'd be safe, but they just get hungrier. That'd be horrifying, man. I couldn't. And there's nothing you could do about it. They're scary. I literally, I have seen the fight between a tarantula and a tarantula hawk wasp. And like, honestly, it helped me develop like empathy for spiders because i wasn't arachnophobic i just i've held spiders i just literally i don't like the way they feel it's too delicate i feel like i'm going to hurt them and then if i panic they're going to hurt me and it makes me panic and i don't like it but i think they're cool but oh my god the first time i saw it like the spider knew he knew that this fucking wasp was bad news, and I was just like, dude, by like lol of like the wildlife photographer, I am not supposed to get involved. And like every time I keep getting a little bit closer to like kind of piss it off, it reminds me that like it's gonna fuck me up. So like, I'm sorry, dude. So like, I just took a picture of the two of them and I eventually left, but it was just like, dude, I, I feel for you. Like you, you can't run because it's gonna fly after you. And if you go in your hole, it's gonna come after you and it's gonna live in there. So like this fucking tarantula was just fighting and it was just like, dude, I'm so sorry. But like, unless I hit the thing with a shovel, like what am I, what am I supposed to do? Ooh, 2728. That's, that's gotta be my PB for smallest. What are we sitting at? 2,500, nice. Excuse me. <clears throat> so we haven't caught anything giant in a while. So I might level up. I don't know. I don't know. I always start to question myself towards like the like the end after sometime sometime after the halfway point. I always start to question myself, <clears throat> which is usually after I catch a big fish and then I I'm like, wait, why am I not catching another big fish? And it's like, because they're rare, dipshit. No, spiders are cool. I just, I've held them. I've worked with them. I've studied them. I just, from a distance. I can, I respect them from a distance. Up close, spiders are not my thing. Same with centipedes. Uh, I like millipedes. Don't like centipedes. <clears throat> um, I don't like scorpions. I like scorpions up close more than I like spiders. A lot more. Um. <laughs> Hilariously, when it comes to spiders, the bigger the spider, the more I like it. Because they, they, they're usually slower. It doesn't mean they're slow, but it means they're slower because they're more confident in themselves. I don't have to be so afraid. Except for Huntsmen. Oh god, dude, the way they bend their legs and just like, I'm just gonna disappear into this crack. It's like, don't do that. It's like, you see me, I see you, we're both cool. But when you disappear, I don't like that. When I was a kid, I had a Huntsman spider in my bathroom, which is weird, because, I mean, I don't, looking back at it, I don't know what he ate. Because, like, we didn't have flies or anything, and never uh it was i one time we had cockroaches oh my god oh 
not at my uh, family's house, but in college. It was it was short lived. Um, I put I put an end to that. Um, but like I don't know what this fucking spider was eating, man. He was eating something. But like, again, childhood home didn't have any bug problems. Although now that I think about it, we did have shitty screens on the windows. So he might have just been coming inside to the bathroom and living outside. Because we did have shitty screens. I do remember that. Oh my god, dude. I remember just one time seeing this fucking cockroach and just being like... Okay, yep. I'm broke, but like... My tortilla money is going to fucking cockroach poison. And it was over. It was over just like that. I managed to... In my, honestly, it might have just been the first fucking one. Might have just been the first one. Sometimes you're lucky. We weren't lucky when we got bed bugs. Oh, God. That was my roommate's girlfriend from camp. And literally... I, oh my gosh, it was the first time I ever remember thinking to myself, like, don't, don't physically harm this person. They might be lying directly to your face and calling you stupid, but don't do it. But, like, they literally, like, were telling stories about it. They were like, oh my god, we have kids we have to burn the clothes of, because, like, they're just, they're, they're filthy. Like, they have bed bugs, they're, like, they're gross, we have to fucking wash the kids. It's bad. It's so bad. And then two weeks later, we're just like, uh, so it turns out we have bed bugs. And I just, like, everybody, like, looked at her and she was like, what? What? And it's like, bitch, what? Like, no. Nobody has bragged about fucking burning clothes because they're so fucking filthy. Like, you said multiple kids. Like, you fucking god damn it. No. And she, she never fucking took credit for it. And it was just like, oh my god. Towards the end, it was just like, everybody in the house, because like, there was a few people living there, we were all just like, dude, you have to. Like, you have to talk to her about this. Just, no! Never wanted to take fucking, never wanted to fess up for it. Never wanted to take credit for fucking, oh god, that was an awful week, man. It was bad. Everybody was under, oh, dude, the pressure. We were, pr it was probably close to pro like, everything's always exams. Everything's always near exams when you're in school. You're perpetually near exams. Oh, God, dude, that was so bad. The One of the worst things about bed bugs, too, is, like, when you're getting treated for them, they tell you not to move where you sleep, because if you move, the, they're gonna fucking look for food. And if they start dispersing through the house, the treatment's not going to be as good because they're going to treat where they, they know and think they are. They're not going to treat your entire house with 100% efficiency because it would your house would just burn. Um, usually with a heat treatment. I think there's chemical treatments, but we got heat treatment because from what I understand, heat treatment's the one that actually works. Chemical treatments can work, but they can also become resistant to those, whereas just cooking them alive, you know, works. But... Yeah, if you're supposed to sleep in the same place, so they stay where they are, and oh my god, there was just everybody, like, I remember everybody constantly being like, no, I'm just doing some studying tonight. No, I'm just doing a little re extra research. And it's like, dude, you have to fucking sleep in your room. You have to sleep, you have to sleep in your room. And it's like, ugh. Oh god, it was crazy. What a crazy time. But it was just, oh my god, it was just, I remember this moment where it was just, like, everybody looking at each other, like, is she fucking serious? And it's just like, don't. Don't reach across the table and fucking smack her. She She's looking at you right now like you're stupid. And she, for some reason, is thinking she, everybody's buying it, but we're not. Like, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? All you have to say is, I'm sorry, guys. It's like, I don't know how you think you're getting away with this right now. Like, you said you burned a child's clothes. They were so gross. <laughs> and, like, we didn't have to pay for it or anything. It, it was covered. But, like, 
It's just like, come on. None of us work at a camp. Well, I shouldn't say none of us work at a camp. None of us work for the camp. Even I went to camp sometimes. I was in... I was a snake educator at one... Well, I should say reptile, but snakes. It was snakes. I don't think we had turtles, but we didn't take the turtles anywhere. I did a lot of field trips at one point, actually. I did a... Actually, I did. I did a couple camps myself, now that I think about it. That was a long time ago. That was a different me. That was a me that wanted to be public. I wanted to talk to people every day. I wanted to go out and show people the parks. And then I realized people spit on the sidewalks and fucking throw piss cans in the parking lots. Eastern rat snakes are badass. <clears throat> I always wanted a pet one, but it was incredibly illegal where I lived because they were native. I could have gotten one, but I think that's also technically illegal. I don't know. They're, the laws where I used to live were so ridiculously stupid that, like, I honestly, when I moved, I remember thinking, like, and it broke my I remember crying so hard giving my snake away to a vet tech um because like i just genuinely like the fucking the laws just don't make sense man where i used to live i'm not i'm not gonna exactly explain where that is but um they just don't make any fucking sense about owning like exotic animals anymore and, like, I just remember at the end, like, thinking to myself, like, I'm not getting in trouble, so I'm just gonna give this fucking snake to a vet tech, because that's who I trust most to take care of my- If anybody's gonna take this animal to the vet to get it checked up yearly, this is who I have, like, faith will do it. Um, so I called around until I found one that'd be willing to take her, and I gave my snake away, but, like, I- Like, honestly, the- Like, the- The sales- of s most snakes in the state I was from is just 100% illegal. Just totally illegal. And I don't know how it's not a bigger problem because they made it a big problem because they were like, we're gonna crack down on it. But then they never did anything about it and it's one of those things where like, I don't know, man. It's most likely just my anxiety being like... But like, if the Department of Wildlife wanted to, they could just sweep through the entire state and arrest, like, the vast majority of snake owners. It's crazy. If you know anything about wildlife law, you can probably figure out where I'm from just because the laws are so fucking insane. But, like... Nope, I will never own reptiles again. One, because the laws will catch up to it eventually, and I don't want to be a part of that. One day they're going to have, like, registered fucking exotic animal lists. Because it's, it's going to be a problem. I mean, it's fucking, look at Florida. It's a problem. And then two, um, it wasn't actually until I got out, because when you're in like wildlife school and it's probably the same for vet school you're around a lot of the same like mind people so it's easy to echo chamber and think like you know everything and it wasn't until i got out of school that i realized that like there's a whole other level to care standard that like i had just tuned myself out of and i don't believe that people should really be owning animals like that anymore i still think you can and i think they're fun and i love them they're sweet but just personally, I don't think I can enrich that kind of animal's life enough to justify owning it. Oh, nice! Nice! I was just talking about you yesterday, actually. I said I'd done, like, 26 hours of Dark Cloud 2 and I hadn't seen you, and it was making me sad. Shout out to the yoink man. That dude's hilarious. Yoink. Check out these cool night anoles. Yoink. 
This swamp puppy's checking out my biscuits. That dude cracks me up. That's what I did in school, though. I went out barefoot and grabbed... Well, I didn't live somewhere like that. I grabbed frogs and, uh... Frogs and snakes. We didn't we didn't have fucking alligators. It was way too cold. Um, and I didn't barefoot it in the water because... And that's the thing that kills me about him, man. I don't... They must not, like... I know he's got to have alligator snapping turtles. The bravery to go fucking bear hog in warm water where you know snapping turtle maybe maybe he knows the waters better than i do but that's always my fear when i see him in those videos snakes and stuff don't bother me and i'm sure like the alligators the ones big enough to take your foot are big enough to see but the turtles man the turtle scared me is that actually his name i just know i anytime i hear his voice i just know it's him Um, I kind of stopped hanging out in them. Do you, okay, do you know who Elaboru is? Or whatever their name is. Elab. Elab is what I call them. I didn't really want to tell They, they, I don't even know how to, they, they, they use a lot of accounts, so I don't even know what they roll around on now. But they just, like, hate me to, like, no other end of the world. At this point, it's almost like I feel bad for him just because it's so tiring. But like, I don't know. Sometimes I run into them in other streams and they just go off the complete rails for days. And it's just like, okay, like, I know you're gonna tire yourself out eventually, but like, I don't like feeling like I caused your spin out. So I just stopped hanging out in other streams. And then, on top of that, I actually... I almost said it. I almost felt good about saying it, too. I actually helped build a community for the game Curse Breaker. The Black Grimoire. No, the Black Grimoire Curse Breaker. Um, however, I kind of ditched all that behind me because there was a couple assholes in the community who just wouldn't leave me alone. So, I left that all, and... Man, I played some Borderlands for a couple weeks. What else did I play? I played a bunch of stuff. But, man, a few days ago I was playing some Dark Cloud and then I decided I was going to do something. I think I streamed for like 12 hours and then I streamed for another 12 hours. No, how did it go? I can't remember, but one day Monty showed up and was just like, have you ever done an item only playthrough? And I was like, yeah, they've somebody's done it. They've totally done it. I think they've done it. It's possible. And then we spent like 24 hours playing for two days. And it was a ton of fun. Except for a couple moments where I lost my mind because I realized I don't know like as much about this game as I thought. And I was very embarrassed and it upset me, but that happens. Sometimes you embarrass yourself on the internet. I hope you are well. How is your end of the internet going? I've just been chilling, watching different streamers make me talk to the world. Has he still- he's done it, hasn't he? Or is he- is he trying to make it faster? Is it like- does he found something? I thought I found something the other day, but... I'm embarrassed to say that I- it, I don't think I just- I think I found a, a unique interaction. I thought I found a new speedrunning, uh... Something or other. But it's- I think it just ended up being a unique interaction. He just set a record for, uh, platinum, didn't he? I just make a possible route, possibly the best part is the complete speed up. Oh, does it use the chapter skip by any chance? I've so badly wanted to come up with a segmented speed run where you use the chapter skip speed up exploit. Nice! 
Yes! Night! What do you do? Do you get the Amano Murakumo? Yes! You do, don't you? Yes! Oh my gosh. That's funny, because I was thinking if you skip into Chapter uh, 3's area, you fight Blumo and Heat Fairy, and that allows you to level up the Ruler Sword to uh, Crosshinder early. That's funny that you went that route. I was thinking a different route. That's funny. Because you can, yeah, you can build up Crosshinder early that way. Also, if you just noticed, um, don't tell anyone because I'm trying to make a sneaky uh, comeback. But I am on retro achievements and I am going to try to do an all fish sweep. Mon Monty got me back in the game. Monty, Monty was a big part of it. Which is funny because they're also going to get me back into Pokemon. Monty almost got me back into Skyrim and almost gave Todd Howard more money, which is a bad. That's a bad thing. That's so funny. Hell yeah. Good for you routing that. Good shit. No, I took like, ooh, like three or four months off. I was just playing Curse Breaker, which I don't want to shill it. I don't want to, but if you guys do enjoy RuneScape, and you want to play a RuneScape-like game with no membership, it is $15 on Steam. Um, I've got 400-something hours in the game. It's so much fun. So, yeah, I'm trying to remember. Did I stream for, like... I can't remember, like, when... You showed up at one point, and we talked about throwables, and I changed the entire topic of the stream. But I think that was the second 12-hour stream of the week. I think you had already hung out for another stream that week. I can't actually remember. I love Dark Cloud 2. Whenever I actually get back into the mood for it, it's such a good time. But the problem is, I've got 20 years of playing this game, so like, it's like a time limit. Which is, again, the same thing with shiny hunting. I can only shiny hunt for so long before I, I go insane. I am sad I never got my uh, 400 meter speed a shot, but maybe one day we'll find it. I did hit a 323 meter speed a shot on the first try. That felt so good. Wait, the route is freaking brutal though. Highly volatile, sadly, the amount of throwable items. Oh wait, no, okay, that's why you said throwable items. Oh my gosh, I'm doing a throwable item only playthrough. So, we just found out that you can actually uh, detonate Halloween's nose the second it detaches by hitting him with a bomb. It's so hard to time, but if you hit his nose as he's detaching it, he'll go down early and take 50 damage from the bomb. I think, I thought I found a new discovery for the speedrun, but honestly, they kill Halloween so fast that I don't think it's faster, but it was cool. It was so cool. Have you done the route, or is it just uh, theoretical written down? Is it, is there like a segmented one done? Because I really, I have... My, and I, I don't know if this is an excuse or if I can maybe overcome this one day. I've tried. I've done a couple speedruns now. Uh, my anxiety is like way too high to actually do a speedrun. But I have a lot of interest in segmented speedruns because I get to do, I, I get, get do-overs. You get to try again. Um, and if you get that one good segment, you save it. You got it. It's locked away. Um, so I'd be interested in trying to segment it. Especially if you do the chapter, uh, the chapter skip. Now, do you go back and do you use the balloon? Or do you, you use the speed? You, you said you use the speed of skip. 
Do you think it would be easier to unlock the balloon and do the tree barrier skip? Where you get out of bounds that way. Because that is more consistent. The, well, no, the speed of would be... Because if you're going to... Ah, that's... That's segmented talk, though. If you're if you're looking at fastest overall, it would be speed up, but that's it's hard, man. I just recently did that glitch. I just recently did that glitch. It's brutal. The chapter two one's brutal. The chapter three out of bounds is way easier. I really want to challenge close to war to a uh, Sheriff Blinkhorn race, but I also don't want to find out how fast he's actually capable of, because it's going to ruin my confidence. But, like, I don't know anybody else besides Sir Strife and Glitched, maybe? That would ever actually try to run a Sheriff Blinkhorn like, race as fast as possible. But I just fucking, I got a 129 the other day, and I am feeling high on life still about it. Honestly, if you have any knowledge of that, that would be something I'm interested in, is how fast, like, the, what the fastest possible Sheriff Blinkhorn is. Because, I mean... Just to know the route, like, where do you do your diagonals? Where do you swap the camera? Working is still very, but getting the Amino in Chapter 3 is... Yeah. Yeah, dude, the Amino is insane. Yeah, that, that's the hardest part, is you have to do the out-of-bounds glitch and then get a good speed of there. But it's possible, man. I literally just did it the other day. Now, I wasn't speed running, but I literally unlocked Sfida and immediately went to Chapter 2, and the very first level, I unlocked, like, the, the, the dungeon. Yeah, I've watched uh, Pokemon fans uh, video on how to do that. The only thing I don't like about Pokemon fans video is he doesn't show you how to get unstuck from inside the tree. And I did figure that out, but. <clears throat> oh, wait, there is a speed of skip for chapter two. I was using Baron. Yeah, no, it's the same thing. Yeah. Wait, wait, I'm, hold on. I'm misreading these in entirely. Yeah, no, there is a speed of skip for chapter two. <coughs> you just put the ball, like, I'll show you here, I can literally show you here in a second. So, like, you go, you need the barrier up against one of the bushes, so, like, Oh, I can't do it right now, but there's a certain setup. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. Um, it's in Pokemon fans out of bounds using speed of video. But um, there's like a certain position that the bushes and the barrier can be against each other. So that like a little gap appears. Um, and you take like a little, let me, this little like, I mean, it's iconic. The little max half step. You take like one of these back just one of those yeah one of those right there you take one of those back set the speed down and then pull out your fishing pole and it'll push you through sometimes you have to do a little wiggle running to get through but yeah you just pop through the barrier and bam you're in chapter six i just did it the other day in one of my streams i can try to clip it and send it to you just did it It's fickle. I think Pokemon fan says the exit has to be facing west, and that's not entirely true. 
I believe it has to do with the orientation of the gate and the bush itself. Oh, wait, how does one skip the ch- Oh, yeah, no, my bad. Okay, I was misreading that. No, okay. Wait, how does one skip- Yeah, no, I was- I, There is no chapter- uh, Yeah, no, I was talking about chapter six. My bad. I was misreading all that. You skip from chapter two to six, like you said, with Amano Murakumo, and then chapter three to six. Sorry, that's my bad. I'm seven hours and 40 minutes into a fishing stream. My brain- My brain turns to mush in these. I forgot about that. If I'm not making sense, please remind me. It sounds like I'm not making sense. There probably is a chapter three. Oh, I dropped frames too. There probably is a chapter three skip somewhere. Um, what would you need to trigger? There's probably a chapter three skip in there somewhere. I'm, what would you need to, there's something. I bet there's something you could do to trigger Dr. Dell when you enter his house to make him think that you're in chapter three. I bet there's something. He's even got that weird dialogue. Oh, I don't know if you noticed, but I actually managed to already set one leaderboard achievement. We are the proud owner of the Prisclean record. I officially feel back. Oh. How do you trigger the early... It, it's just the cascade effect. I always wish there was a way to find early Baron, like, balloon or something. Like, if you could find some way to recruit the balloons instead of the statues in Chapter 4. I always thought that was going to be the true secret, but it's, it's probably not in the code. It's simply not possible to recruit the balloons, which is stupid. This game in- yeah, no. This game in general is weird. I started messing with the debug menu, and I broke- oh, that's what we were doing! I think I was streaming a broken version of the game, Monty. I was like trying to play through the game and then I realized like I had cheat a bunch of people onto the train, but I couldn't access the train, but I also couldn't progress the game. I think that's what it was. I needed to talk to Cedric, but Cedric was on the train already. Uh, I'm gonna level something up. I'm feeling it. Huh. Kind of shocked that's an achievement. I've still never even done chapter 8 to this day. I've, ne I've never even done a floor. I've caught some serious spoilers, which have kind of killed my motivation to go. But, like, I still need to do it. And I have a dream. I think you can hit 40,000 damage if you hit a critical with the 5 star on one of the Dark Genie clones. Yeah, I if you could I'd love it. I'm getting I'm, I miss this man fishing was where I like got my start technically streaming I had already been streaming for like a year when I got into dark cloud fishing. That's a beaut But Dark cloud 2 fishing is literally where I met like the vast majority of people I talk to now.
<laughs> it, and I, you talked to me about it one time, but when I got the debug menu, I too spent like a whole day trying every single item in the game trying to hurt Linda. Oh, and I finally, and like, it's like an hour into one of uh, Pokemon Fan 4000's Dark Cloud 2, like, glitch exhibition videos. Um, it turns out he actually did showcase that the maximum size for fish was 200 centimeters, like, 12 years ago. But yeah, it's like an hour into one of his three hour long videos. So, like, it turns out the information's been out there the whole time. It's just super hard to find. You just have to watch all of his videos. But it turns out it was out there. But no, it would be cool, Monty. Um, I have no idea what it takes to run one of these games, though. I couldn't tell you. No idea. Honestly, I bet here in a couple years, it'll be cheaper to get it on PS4 than it will be the PS2, though. A couple game stores are like charging 40 bucks for this game now. I, I guess it's becoming hot. I, I've seen it go up a few dollars at game stores. I don't know if people are, like, going nostalgic for it, or... There, there's a couple big streamers who play it. Um, I, I've lurked in a couple streams lately where people... People have some big viewer counts playing this game. Well, I mean, yeah, that, but, like, shit's just costing more. Controllers? Oh, my God. The control, the third market, or third party market for controllers? Holy shit, man. My brother was trying to buy Joy-Cons. It made me sick. What? They're not even real controllers! See, that's crazy. I was just talking about that earlier, about how I'm gonna have to... You literally were the person I had in mind. It's crazy that you, like, popped in today. Because I was saying that there's somebody I know who, like, checks on the fucking code and stuff like that, and does, like, interesting things like that, but... Like, it just, it sounds like nobody can fucking make heads or tail of this game. Which is crazy, because they have entire mods for Dark Cloud 1, but it sounds like Dark Cloud 2 is literally written in fucking hieroglyphics, and we're gonna have to discover a Rosetta Stone in, like, Dragon Quest 8 to, like, translate this shit in the, this game. It's like, literally a third game is gonna have to be fucking used to translate this game, it sounds like. It blows my mind. What is memory manipulation? Do you like seduce the computer? And it like tells you things? Is that, are you hit, is it hypnotizing? Do you hypnotize a computer? That's. That's confusing. It blows my mind that this game doesn't have, like... I don't know. Anything. I thought by now it would have some stuff, but... Still to this day, the only person I've ever... I've seen two people, I think, ever mod this game. I can't remember who the second one was. It was just randomly on Reddit, I think. Um, and the other one's Mackenzie One. But as far as I'm aware, Mackenzie One's only ever shared how they did it once with some random streamer. And it sounded confusing as shit. You essentially just, like, make a folder that is constantly refreshing 
over like this like whatever outfit you're wearing with a second outfit it sounded whack i didn't understand it but mckenzie one's the only person i've ever known that's actually like messed around with this game in that sense but they never told me shit probably because i was too stupid but that's just as insulting Mackenzie 1 was an ass. I'm an ass, and Mackenzie 1 took it to the next level. But they are no longer around here, so I don't have to worry about that. And I would know if they were around here, because they would not be able to handle me taking my breaks. If you've ever heard me talk about the person who bitched about me taking too long of breaks, that's who it is. Which is just, like, hilarious. Because as far as I'm aware, like, the only people who play Dark Cloud 2 as much as me and like don't take breaks are the speedrunners but like they play to such a higher degree than me that like fuck that close to wars 32 hour streams are like a dude i don't i can't even dream of it i've tried i did an 18 hour speedrun attempt and like i literally felt like i was going to have like a depressive episode I woke up fine. I actually woke up feeling great because I was so exhausted. But like, nah, dude. 14 hours is the end of like my, yeah, we did it. 16 is where I'm like, oh, dude, that's crazy. And 18 is where I'm literally falling asleep with the controller in my hands. Like, nah, dude. Uh, yeah, so that's what I think how they did a lot of their modding was like They modified files to like change things while the game was running But again, they never actually told me anything They told somebody else and I just so happened to pop in the stream and like catch them explaining it And then like they didn't really explain everything else because I think they knew I was there but like yeah, no, they, they, they pissed me off so bad one time. Because they just bitched about me playing other games with them. And then, like, whenever I would play something I wanted to, they'd bitch about me not playing enough Dark Cloud. And then when I'd play Dark Cloud, they'd bitch about me taking too many breaks. And it was just like, I can't, I can't do this. It's like, you're actually fucking making me insane. And it's like, you know what? I think I am insane. And that was the first great fish hiatus. Actually, I, I don't even think it was. I think I got right back to fishing after that. We just need one of the devs to actually give a shit. And like, release the flash drive. Somebody's got it, bro. Somebody's got it. There's a flash drive in somebody's fucking little old wooden box that they keep in their, their closet that they forgot about from their first job as a dev on Dark Cloud 2. Just give us the full cut. Oh, can you imagine if the source code to a game like this got leaked? Like some old, fa like famous PS2 game and all of a sudden there was just a renaissance of like people being able to make beautiful PS2 games. That'd be crazy. That would be the coolest thing ever. If just, I mean, it would suck obviously for the company, but I don't think any of the companies that own games like this would ever actually, you know, suffer. That would be so cool. Like fucking some idiot accidentally like leaks the Final Fantasy X source code and we just get a renaissance of like good JRPGs for 10 years because suddenly like anybody with half an idea gets a fucking source code that's just oh just kiss Final Fantasy X 2 bro I don't even know if that's how that works I think that's how that works. Isn't that what happened with Counter-Strike? Or no, that's how Counter-Strike was made. Right? Half-Life got leaked and Counter-Strike was made? That's where we got League of Legends, isn't it? 
something else got fucking leaked and was it oh how did that i don't even know i'm not even smart enough I will say I am a little disappointed with the Nonki today. We've had some good ones, but I was hoping for a few more that were bigger earlier. They've definitely gotten bigger later now, but you know, honestly, now that I'm saying that out loud, maybe that's the indicator we've been looking for this whole time. When you're catching small fish, you might not notice that the average is going up by much, but the Nonki have gotten bigger drastically just by me raising all my stats to 30s. Maybe there is like an unlock point. <laughs> I wish I could mod this game though. The, f the first thing, and maybe the only thing I would really mod- well, I, I, there's a lot of things I'd mod, let's be honest. Um, would be that... Nonki and Bobo... Instantly on the, uh, the lure rod. Instantly. Instantly. Um, I would make the Minnow... Inventable. You would have to take a picture of a fish, the river, and probably... Ooh, probably something shiny or luminescent. What would it be? What would you take a picture of? Or, or depending on how you could mod, how much you could mod, would you add a... Oh, would you add another fishing rod? You could just add another fishing rod that catches certain fish. The moon, that is a good one. The moon's reflective. I think that was actually the last thing you and I talked about was your damage calculator. Whose stream was that? You literally predicted the, like, the damage some guy did and he lost his mind. I actually remember that all of a sudden. Ooh, glowing mushroom. Great call as well. That almost makes me think you should just, we sh yeah, you could just mod in a bait. Oh, you could just mod in a glow. Oh! <gasps> the golden eggs. You could make a lure that reference. Just a golden egg lure. Oh, oh, it'd be so funny. <gasps> a golden egg lure because and it's really popular for i don't know if this is just me nerding out about fishing stuff but you could do the golden egg and then a couple dran's feathers hanging off of it oh dude that would be so funny like yeah because they're like glitter like, like glowing yeah, I do remember that now. Whose stream was that? We were in somebody's stream and you literally predicted the damage they were gonna do. And it's just like, oh man, I do remember that. Wow, it's been a while since I have hung out in Dark Cloud streams. I was just talking about how sad I was about all that, that I did all those big streams and I didn't see anybody, but it sounds like you have been hard at work. It's just an insector. Oh my gosh, dude. I need to go back and play Rogue Galaxy, but the last time I tried, I tried to do the Insectatron, and I lost so much bait. I just, I didn't understand it. I, I kept missing out. I didn't know if I needed to stay closer to the traps to make sure I got the bugs, or if, like, I was, I, I just, ugh. Ugh. It was making me so mad. I couldn't figure it out. And everybody online was just like, ah, just wait till you get to the final dungeon and you can get the best insector there and he wins. And it's like, well, I just, I don't want to just do that. Like, I do want to learn how the game works. Eventually I'll do that, but I don't want to just learn that, but. Oh, wait, was that the stream? Was that the streamer? Um, He had the penguin. What was his name? 
Oh, what was his name? I think the pet, the penguin's name was Kevin. Of all things to remember. What was his name? Was that where I kept talk? I, I think we hung out in some other streamer's Dark Cloud 2 stream for like, it was a good bit. Out Neo Vanguard for chapter 4 when Chani was supposed to warrant to find for myself. She used to be damaged, it's gonna be like 20 inches. Nice! That's huge too, because when you start to get that specific, that's like, and I, I, this is a very specific reference because I just watched a video on it, but like Diablo 2, they know exactly how many fireballs are used to kill the final boss, and when you start to get like damage values like that, that's like. Hey, you need to hit Griffin with this many sword swings, but it has to be the third swing in each combo. So, and like, that's crazy. Good shit. <laughs> I haven't chatted with Morn in a long time. Morn went on like a seven month vacation, so I, there was a reason, but. Morn also hung out with a bunch of other people that I don't talk to anymore. Those people were Dark Cloud posers. No, I'm kidding. They just... I don't know. They didn't like how competitive I was, and I didn't like how positive they were all the time, because I'm very ban-heavy. When people harass me, I just fucking... I don't, I don't stand that shit. I don't like being harassed in my own domicile. Um... And they told me I banned too many people. And they also told me I streamed at the wrong times. And it's like, man, I stream when it's like convenient. And sometimes I stream for 16 hours. Like, what the fuck? I can't just change my sleep schedule, but. Hammers. I, you know, that's funny. I never liked hammers because of the legend. Like, you know, you know. Um, but growing up, I always used the cubic hammer because that cutscene at the like when the game's playing at the start with Max and the Wildcat and the hammer, I don't know, that was like the epitome of like, yeah, I'm doing it. But like as I've gotten older, I've realized I only use the charge attack. So like I am a hammer user through and through. <laughs> That's yeah, that is really true. That is so funny. I forget about that, that you both are fucking PNG vampires. I will give you the edge. I, I... I mean, your name is Monty. Or is Morn could be something vampiric, I just don't know. I'm not very... I am not that knowledgeable, I will admit it. But... No, Morn was funny just because I was just watching their stream one day, and I was just like, like, hey, you know anything cool about fishing in this game? And they were like, uh, yeah, I know a glitch. And I was just like, okay, yeah, sure. Like, which one of the Pokemon Fan 4000 videos are you going to show me? And they fucking, they did big tone, and I just remember laughing so hard. It was just like, oh man, what is this? Honestly, Big Tone was like probably the discovery of the year. Again, I, as far as I'm aware, Dark Cloud 1 is the more popular game. So any major discoveries that go between the two games, it, Dark Cloud 1 has the edge. And Big Tone has never failed to get a laugh out of somebody. I know people are just typing LOL or ha ha ha, but like the way the people type it whenever I see them type it, it's never the normal way, which tells me they are erratically typing it, which means it's actually funny. It's, d Big Tone is just so funny. Damn, 27 FP, not bad. 27 centimeter, 27 FP would be the record, I think. Oh! Shit! 
Fuck! Wait. Are we good? Okay. I was sitting with my legs crossed in my chair, and I just went to stretch my legs because they're cramping. And uh, I just fucking got my legs stuck in my PS4 controller cord. That, that was scary. I am sitting in a fucking like three foot high like bar stool with my legs crossed, and I just got my leg caught in the fucking PS4 cord. I thought it was over, y'all. I I thought it was that. <laughs> I thought it was like I was done for. Damn. <laughs> Not good. That was not good. Retaining weapon effectiveness and stuff, I managed to get the values for every wrench damage point. Nice. Oh, sir. Wait, are you doing hammers now? And then, okay. I'm. I think I'm starting to see the painting that you are putting on the canvas. <laughs> have you uh, you have to be in contact with nocturnal right you know not you know nocturnal right you have to there's no way you two don't you know what a lot of old rpgs final fantasy does this how do you not know nocturnal that's crazy i wonder if you two just watch dark cloud at different times you two are the most common people I, I meet and talk to in Dark Cloud chats. That's wild. You have to have opposite sleep schedules or something. Nocturnal is currently mapping the loot table for Dark Cloud 2. They're running every level like hundreds if not thousands of times just to figure out the loot tables. I, it, I love it. It's so fucking cool. They figured out all the best floors for farming keys, and I have jacked my hip up royally, people. Oh god, it hurts to fucking exist. Yeah, I need to get- I- fuck it, I need to chat with them, and like, I need to apologize. I haven't talked to them in a while. Um, I haven't talked to you in a while. My, my bad. I have not been hanging out with anybody lately. I apologize. I have- I'm standing really weird right now if I sound different. Um, I've been just absent from the Dark Cloud community. I just haven't given a shit. Um, I feel like I contributed a bunch to the community and nobody knows who I fucking am and it kind of sucks and it hurt my feelings and I didn't want anybody, anybody to know that but here I am saying it publicly but no dude honestly for like the longest time there I felt like as soon as I caught my record fish I was just fucking public enemy number one and it was just like what the fuck like, I thought people would be excited. But it was just like, it felt like 9 out of 10 people were just angry. I mean, again, for God's sakes, one guy was just like, fucking, Pokemon Fan 4000 caught his on a bait rod with a lure glitch. You can't compare them. And it was just like, dude, nobody mentioned him. It's like, Jesus Christ, I'm just trying to show off my fish. But... No, like I said, I'm trying to get over that shit. I'm realizing that the people who don't like me are just louder than the people who do. And I can't just give out on the people who do like me because the people who don't like me are so loud. That's, I mean, I like to think that's pathetic and run away from the whole problem in general, but it's not, it's not pathetic. I mean, nobody wants to fucking be pestered, annoyed, harassed. But no, the other day I uh, this is this is kind of crazy. I've only talked to one person about this, but the other day I logged on to Twitch, and this is it's kind of even weird to talk about now. Um, and somebody was actually streaming porn in the Dark Cloud Two uh, like subcategory. Oh, that's a tiny Baku. And I got him. I got him banned immediately. Twitch thankfully took care of it instantly. But I, I knew I knew who it was. I knew they were targeting me and other people. Um, but I mean, like they 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 had some nasty stuff written, and they were just literally streaming porn. And like, I don't know, man. It made me realize that even though like 
I'll probably never be a close to war or for God's sakes, a Pokemon fan 4,000. Um, it's just nice to know that like I inspired like a fishing movement and I got a bunch of people to fucking check out like pre lin and there's so many medals that you can actually achieve early in the game. And like I did the 300 meter Sfida and now like, I don't know, there's a big movement that speed is not actually as hard as it used to be. Um, and I may never actually be known for any of that, but I feel good knowing that I actually did it and I shared what I did and I had fun doing it because I don't know, man. There's people like that who are just here to spread pure negativity. And sometimes I'm not the most positive, but I'm helping. And it, uh, it makes me feel good. Oh, what I, I don't think I even finished what I was saying earlier. A lot of old RPGs um, had axes and hammers do random damage. Like, they had set numbers of damage, but, like, they would do a random amount within that damage. And I almost wonder if this game has a hidden thing for uh, hammers, and that's what you're experiencing. Speeda isn't too difficult. People honestly... Wait... Speeda isn't too difficult. Honestly, people just get but Yeah, that honestly, people who aren't like fans of Dark Cloud or Dark Cloud 2 and come to this game, they get so mad. I sometimes, I like just walk away and I go grab like a drink and come back because, dude, it's crazy. Like, I get angry, but like, you will see totally rational people lose their minds to speed up. And I don't know what... I think it's probably just the fact that it's a kids' games golf mini game, But people lose it. Handy Stick is good. Um, after I started going for ultimate, like, trick shots and stuff, and, like, what's the maximum distance? I fell in love with the Flamingo. Because the Flamingo has, like, the craziest bounce on it. So if you can, like, learn to judge the bounce on it, you can actually take shorter shots than the turkey and handy stick by just using the bounces. It's kind it's super technical. But with enough save state practice, you can hone in the bounces. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. Nice. How many centimeters? 69. Nice. I I think the biggest problem I have with the Dark Cloud community and speed, and I, do, I was this way for 20 years. Um, everybody just gets so comfortable with hit, hitting perfectly straight shots. And like, I don't know, man. They, they very clearly wanted you to do whistlers and bounce that ball. But, like, I think people have just been too afraid because you don't get a second try. And I don't know, man. When I started using... And, again, it's different because I'm about to say this. When I started using save states and I realized the shots were all, like... I mean, not only were they possible that they give you, but, like, you can do them under par. It was like, oh, shit, what? Like, man, I need to take more risks. Because, I mean, I, literally, when you start to look at it, like, okay, I'm supposed to beam this with a Whistler down three hallways and a triple bounce. I mean, like, it makes sense. It's what they wanted. There's so many holes on Balance Valley that are possible in one now that I know how to, like, actually use the club. It's crazy. Sony game golf mini game not being... <laughs> I gotta find what the name of the golf game is that has Zhao and Tone in it. So I can I can golf as Zhao and Tone. I think it's Japanese only. I've been trying to do better with watching like streamers get frustrated and stuff like that, but I I distinctly have a personal rule now that I can't watch people who have a no back seating rule. I can't do it. I, it's a me thing. It's a me and them thing. It's not them, it's me with them. But like, I I can't watch somebody get frustrated in a game 
and then quit playing because they refuse to look something up or be told how to do it. It's just like, damn, bro. It's like you were so close to figuring it out. All you needed to do was hit X on the door instead of circle. But if you say that, you get banned. And I only got I only got threatened once for backseating too much. Actually, it wasn't even threatened for backseating too much. I literally asked if I could offer advice and they chewed me out for it. And it was like, okay, I could have just spoiled it and then asked for forgiveness, but... Because that's literally what somebody else did. They spoiled it, and they were like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And they're like, oh, it's fine. But, like, they kept fucking... I can't even remember what they were doing. Oh, my God. The one that drives me up the wall the most was... I, I, I can't handle it. It's one of the reasons I can't do no backseating. Watching people throw carrots into random bodies of water and wait for, like, three minutes and just be like, Nope, I guess nothing wants the carrot. And it's like, you have tried every body of water except for the one that has the fish. It's like, you have to be trolling. Oh, yeah, you can't crack the ball in this game until, like, yeah, you've got a hundred hours of speed under your belt. And you're like, okay, I'm using the Falcon. I gave it three quarters of a, like, a top spin. I'm aiming at the rock so I get a little reduce. And it's going to bounce off the ceiling. <laughs> Dude, that's one of my favorite shots of all time. 300 meter speed a shot. I bounced it off the ceiling color change. Um, I think it bounced off a bridge or an island into another color change, and then it went in. I literally went crazy with Speeda for, like, a week and a half. I've been crazy the whole time. I still think there should be a body of water somewhere in the game that has Mardans, Umatakara, and Baron. You can't change my mind. Oh! No! You can't do channel! Channel is like... Channel's so brutal. Because it's like, it's smaller than, um... Mount Gundor... So, like, when you're doing Heim Rada and whatnot, they're like, you get some good straightaways. It's rough, but you get some good straightaways. The channel is so fucking, like, back and forth that even if you get a good straightaway, it's gonna go, it's like, it's gonna be a fucking, a T-bone. It's gonna be a dead end, you're going left or right, and fucking, it's not good. The woods is good. Um, Moonflower is the best, but like that's so far into the game that you've basically ignored Speedo the whole time. I didn't know there were people who just straight up skip Speedo. I've been on the Reddit recently. I, I try to stay away from the Reddit because I fucking hate those people. Um, I hate a lot of people though. That's just kind of me. I'm very, I'm very like that. Um, but there are some people just like, I don't even play the speed. I skip it. I don't, and it's just like, it's not that bad. It's like, some of them suck, I'll admit that. Like, if I see one that's like, hey, you get nine swings and it's on the other side of this shitty map, I'll just, I'll just skip it. But like, these people are literally making it sound like it's the worst thing that's ever been invented. And it's just like, man, like, there are so much worse things that they could have tried to shove into this game that like, color change golf is like, crazy to be bitched about. Crazy. You are bitching about color change golf. Stop. But I honestly can say that I did not fall in love with Speeda until earlier this year. Um, and I owe that to Vincent Vex. They, and actually it was in Rainbow Butterfly Woods. Um, they hit a shot that bounced in between two trees like five times, just back and forth. Went between the two trees, or like out the two trees, 
landed on one of those islands that's in the center of the bodies of water and then bounced into the distortion. Oh, I just smacked my microphone. I apologize. Let me straighten it. Um, it was crazy. Absolutely crazy. So for like two weeks, I got into speed of trick shots. And then I, I do remember taking a couple weeks off at one point. That's so funny. You've never chatted. You've, that's crazy. If I had to guess, you and Nocturnal have op opposite sleep schedules. And the fact that I stream for like 12 hours a day allows me to see both of you. I'm going to start streaming this game again, though. I miss streaming it. I just... I don't know. It's when I get harassed the most. Again, I've never actually played Zelmite. I forgot Zelmite's probably really good. I heard the walls are wonky. It's pretty because this game is a beloved cult classic, and in its prime, nobody was talking to each other about... Yeah, there, yeah. This was, yeah, this was definitely one of those games that, like, you did not run into anybody talking about. But truthfully, I feel like every time I talk to somebody now, they're like, even when I was playing Curse Breaker, people would be like, oh, I know Dark Cloud. And it's like, bullshit. Why is this game popular now? But... I don't know, man. I think a lot of it, too, falls into the whole Dark Cloud, Dark Chronicle bullshit. Honestly, I hate Ocean Roar Cave. The water, every time. It fucks me up the first swing of every speed I do there. Because I forget you have to hit the ball harder, and it doesn't roll. It gets me every time, and then I just, I squeal. Literally, like the, the meme, I re I think Balance Valley is the easiest, um, not to learn, I guess I should say. That's, yeah, probably not to learn, but <coughs> truthfully, once you know how to, like, cut the ball short and not, like, overbounce it, it's got the most open air. It's the only one you can actually drive a maximum distance. It lets you be free. But I, I guess I should say it's not a good one to learn on because it's just fucking cliffs. But if you can just keep on the... Which is true for all the stages. So long as you can stay on the path. But the waterway, Heimrada, all the others, they do give you a wall to bounce off of. Yeah. <laughs> I would definitely say the the woods are probably the best one out because they're the first three you unlock. Um, the woods are probably the best one to learn on. My only problem with the woods is sometimes the trees don't render and you think you have a beautiful shot and then as soon as the ball leaves the fucking end of the club, a tree renders and it just makes you feel so fucking stupid. And it's just like, okay, yep, I wouldn't have taken that shot. All right, my bad. All right, okay. I need to get to Zelmite. I'll do that probably next year. Well, I'll probably finish up item only chapter seven. I don't know if we'll do eight item only. We might. It just sounds a little grindy for me. Which is kind of crazy to say, but... Um, I really want to do the fucking record sweep now that I'm I'm here, though. I really feel this. Because I, I don't think anybody has ever swept all the records for the fish. And that's kind of... That's, that's a real thing. That's a thing people do, right? A record sweep? They do it in speedruns. Why wouldn't it count here? Yeah. That's, yeah, pretty much what I'm talking about, except for, like, you you don't see the trees, and then the fucking trees all render at once, and it's like, well, okay, I wouldn't have taken that shot if I knew that. Mm 
Yeah, but... All metal. I, I'm... I think... Uh, yeah, I'm kind of... Like, Retro Achievements has a list of all the fish records. But, like, even then, it's only a record of all the people on Retro Achievements. Like, my personal best is higher than the Retro Achievements record. So, like, I don't know. One of the people I used to fish with all the... Like, all the time held all but one of the fishing records. Now they hold all but two of the fishing records. Well, I haven't even checked to see if it updated. It might update after I log out. I don't know. It might not even update. Sometimes it wouldn't update for them. I might not hold any records. I might have gotten screwed. I'd assume if the thing popped up on my screen, it would count. Because how else would it know? Nice. We got weights and fish! I would love to do like an all medals run for this game or something like that. I would love that, but I just... I can't stay up long enough, man. I really want to do a minimum dungeon run speed run for Dark Cloud 1. But, ugh, dude, it's too hard. I just, I can't. I can't stay up that long. I would have to, like, cut hours off of the speed run to make it. Oh, I had to massage my neck. My neck's starting to hurt. One seventy five. I feel like that number's gone up since I've been playing. I feel like people have caught nonkeys since I've been playing this game. The real minimum dungeon percent. That's, I mean, yeah, that's true. I guess that's true. I guess mine would be glitchless or warpless. Yeah, because I actually tried to beat the game by going through every dungeon the minimum number of times. Yeah, I, I it was glitched actually recently, wasn't it? Or no, it was Word of Wind. Was it Word of Wind who came out of nowhere with a new fucking route for any percent? Wow, this feels like a really weird fish. What is this? What is this? This feels weird. What the fuck are you? Is this a Baku PB? Nope, handsome donkey. Thank you. Baku's kick harder than Nonkeys. Um, but like, you are more likely to see a bigger Nonkey than you are a Baku. So like, you think you have a bigger fish, but you don't. But like, it definitely feels like it. You, you gonna think you do. It's weird. Uh 
Oh, dude, it would be a dream to catch the world record for Donkey. To set the record here is one thing, but to actually set the record would be the dream. Pokemon Fan 4000 has held that record for fucking, I think, 15 years now. He's a dream eater, fish sleeper. I have nothing else after that. Fish sleeper wasn't even a good fucking line. I just gave up there. TM50 reader. That's what I should have said. That's a line. No, there's a bunch of records that I don't hold, and it'd be really good to get. Um, and that's why I'm here. I, I really want to set them. But, like, the leaderboards and the records are totally different. I, I, I am confident I can set all of the leaderboards. Now, there are some leaderboards that are actually records and will be a little difficult. But I'm confident I can do it. However... The records for some of these fish that I want are just absurd, but I think I can do it. I'm not confident I can, but I think I can. I mean, it's video game fishing, so it's not like I'm going to be pissing in a bag for the rest of my life if I fuck up, but I will have my pride hurt a little bit. Like Gummy and Gila, Pickly, Neji, those four fish, they'd be cool to set a record for one of those. But like, Pokemon Fan 4000 set a couple of records for those. I think it was Gila and Gummy specifically that are just so ridiculous. I think, no, actually, I think it's Pickly and Gummy that are so ridiculously high that it's just like nobody's even seen close to it. And it's like, those are some of the most like, easy fish to catch so i don't know it's crazy i've tied my own record for gummy like four times so like catching one bigger just blows my mind because i've tied myself multiple times at this point um but again those aren't the records here they can be better Although, actually, I think Gummy is 59, which is kind of scary, because that is what I've gotten multiple times. So, I might actually have to beat myself on that one. That one is kind of scary, now that I think about it. Oh, no. But Nonky, man? Ooh, Nonky scares me. I've caught multiple Nanki heavy enough to potentially be a long enough record. And I have caught Nanki long enough to potentially be heavy enough, but never both. I've never caught one that was heavy enough to be the record and one that was long enough to be the record. Um, Nanki are weird. They've got a weird stat distribution. They're, like, usually one-to-one -one centimeter to FP, but, like, they can also just be fucking all over the place if they want to be. Um, like, I've caught multiple 140 centimeter, 170 uh, FP, and, like, the record's only, I think, 172 centimeters or something like that. So, like, since they're normally one-to-one, -one, I could have had the record, but I didn't. And then I've caught fish that were, like, 160 centimeter donkeys and then like their fp is like 130 and it's like what the fuck like no no but i've done the same thing with kaji my record kajis are stupid i caught a 187 centimeter 522 fp huge but i've also caught a 179 614 and it's like 
Wait. Well, that doesn't make sense. And it doesn't make sense. It's so ridiculously rare that you get a good roll on length and weight on the same fish. W one day, somebody will figure out how all this shit works. I think. One day. Uh, I guess I've been leveling up my strength enough that I can actually use it. I forgot about that. Whoops. I forgot I leveled up my strength to the point where I can actually use it. Oopsies. We could be catching fish faster. Whoopsies. You don't have to, but that would be lovely. I, uh, yeah. I have no idea what's going on with the fish in this game. Any, like, I, I thought I did back when I was playing this game every day, but now I'm back and I'm looking at it. I've got no idea what's going on. Again, I my best guess is that when you enter a dungeon, however the dungeon's laid out, where the chests are, where everything goes, there's probably a line of code that determines all of that. And then from there, everything, like, is determined, even fish. But, like, I don't know, man. From what I've heard, every second that goes by in this game, the RNG is just ever-changing. Like, it's fucking sand in a fucking zero-gravity dial. Just chaos. I did discover the mystery of the giant fish models. Um, I did discover that. Mackenzie One found these fish models that were just way bigger than any of the fish anybody had ever caught. And she couldn't figure out, I actually have no idea if it was really a she even in the end. Um, could be a they. They had no idea where these fish models were coming from because they were just so big. They were so much bigger than the fish were actually supposed to be that it didn't make sense. But you could spawn the fish in. You could literally spawn Max holding these fish models. It was possible. Well, I used the cheat engine to make all of the fish in the game 200 centimeters long. And then I turned those fish into the tournament. Okay, I was like, did I get rid of my big fish? No. Um, and it turns out, I believe the fish that they had found that they couldn't figure out where they went were the fish used when the owl hangs your fishing contest on the hook to show them off. Well, there's not really a hook, but the little thing. Um, and I think it's basically like a hidden model size for every fish when they're 200 centimeters. Because technically, the fish could be 200 centimeters. It's not going to be because you can't turn over a bread fish, but every fish can be 200 centimeters in the aquarium. So they technically could be taken out of the aquarium and put onto the fishing contest hook. Again, it's not technically a hook, but. But there were all these like model sizes for these fish that it was just like, uh, Nobody's ever seen a fish that fucking big. That's insane. How how big is that fish? And the reason is, is because it's twice as big. Now, I had a theory that if you loaded into, like, the, the black screen where it has all the dungeons and stuff, that you actually, like, get luckier to a degree. Um... But, I, yeah, I wonder if there's any validity to that. Like, if you... Because I was playing the other day with Monty watching, and I saw, like, five clowns in just one session of playing. I 
I still don't know how this game isn't like or not this game but the franchise isn't blowing up like roguelite all that stuff it was so hot all they had to do was just again use all the like old assets from this game uh, they probably don't have them anymore but You know, I really do think that's the direction they were going with this game, though. It was like Final Fantasy-esque, where like every game has Bahamut, uh, Yojimbo, you've got your Ifrit, your Shivas, and all that stuff. It's the same universe, but it's, it's like different timelines and different, different realities. I bet that's what they were trying to go for with Dark Cloud. I will say, I really want to find out how to do RNG manipulation in this game. And uh, Close to War does not like that. So, I don't know how they will feel if I ever actually accomplish my dreams. But I distinctly know that they don't want me to. Because I, I was watching their stream one day, and they found a coin in uh, the first chapter. And I was like, man, how cool would it be if you could just, like put a metronome on and like start the game every time and get a dark coin every like first chest and they were like i would hate that i would probably stop running the game if rng manipulation became a thing and i just remember thinking like oh like that sucks i didn't think you were like that kind of runner but damn but i get it like some people don't like rng manipulation but as somebody who watches Pokemon speedruns, I don't mind it. Ew. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. We saw so much stuff in the item only run. I have so many coins to sell. Although I will say we did get an ABS, our only coin in this run, I speed ran. Um, I got to Fish Monster Swamp, my best time ever, which is not good, was 50 minutes, which is good for me. Um, and we got an ABS coin. That's insane. That's like the most I could ask for. It's a dream run. But no, I was like, I, I don't know, that honestly, to me, that sounds like the dream, though. Being able to start a new playthrough of Dark Cloud, and it's like, okay, I'm on the title menu, I hit continue, the game is doing the little thing where the menu spins, if I wait till it spins until you see the ancient mirror, and now! Yes, okay, and if I start the game in the clown hat with the red vest and the work shoes, okay, perfect. All right, everything should be set. I should get a dark coin in the first dungeon no matter what. The chest will be random, but it will always have a dark coin. Perfect. I don't know, man. I think that, that sounds so cool, but I get it. I can see that. And again, I think it's just the fact that like I'll watch a, like a Pokemon stream where they're just like, all right, let me get a Mudkip to go one, two, three. I, that felt good. That felt good. All right, we got the Mudkip. Let's go. And again, I, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. But I love that shit.
That's funny. I bought a PS2 from uh, a game store, and the timer was, like, busted. Every time you would start the games up, the PS2 timer would reset to, like, fucking midnight 2001. So, like, I wonder if that was actually, like, my my dream console for fish manipulation. Fish manip. Dude, that's so fucking crazy. I can't believe we actually took one of the leaderboards just by leveling up my fishing rod. God damn, dude. That just shows... I mean, some of the records might be, in, like, a little hard to take. But, like, that just shows me that some of them weren't even that fucking, like, optimized. Maybe I won't take them all, but, like, at least we can get some of them up there. God damn. We don't even have max stats. The Priscleen deserves better than that. It is literally the only required fish species you catch. You do have to catch two fish in this game, but the second one does not matter. Anything will eat the electric worm. Oh! That's my personal best! And the record! You deserve it, baby! Yes! Hot damn! That's my new per- That's literally- That goes up on the Twitch. That is a new personal best. That's, I think, tied for world record. Unless Pokemon Fan 4000 has some secret giant that nobody knows about. Yes! Hell yeah, man. That's that's a fucking that's a record. That is tied for cuz I don't think Fabuki ever showed how big hers was. So we'll never know how big hers was decimally. But when I get an aquarium, I can show mine off and we'll know what the decimals were. Hell yes, man. Nice. That feels good. Because I was just saying there was room on the Priscline. And we slashed. Just fucking five centimeters like that, baby. 184 or 84 to 89. Just like that. In one fucking move. Nice! Oh, that's a small boy. Ooh, 29. That's tiny. Damn. Fucking hitting all sides. Hell yes, man. That was exciting. That was fun. Damn, dude. First day back fishing. Woo! That's crazy. Baku haven't looked good all day though. That's that's weird. That really leads me to believe to my old theory that when you load into the game, you are seeing different seeds of fish and that like it's more of a just leave and come back than a fish for long periods of time. I mean, if you move the battery in the PST, you maybe want to manipulate the game to some degree, but you are very accurate with fishing. I was actually just messing with uh, save stating how I defeated enemies to see how it uh, affected the speed of layout. Yeah, that would be insane. Woo! 
Dude, that's so much like that's so fun. I can't believe we just actually We we took the leaderboard twice in one session, man. There was so much room on the Prisklean. That was so easy. Nice. 17 fish to do that to. The Mardan's gonna be brutal. The gummy is gonna be brutal. The gobbler is gonna be brutal. It's it's gonna be rough. There's gonna be some rough fish. Yeah, no, actually defeating the enemy. I saved three enemies on the final part of the floor. And like depending on how I defeated them and what order I defeated them changed the speed up. Even just defeating the same enemies the same way resulted differently because it took me different amounts of times. Like different amounts of attacks and blocks and whatnot. It's it's kind of crazy. But they were all relatively the same. They were all super easy. And then just one of them randomly was like way different than the rest. And that's the one I took because I wanted enough swings to get out of bounds. It's probably internal too, because I definitely know people have gotten the same fish by using save states. So it's probably an internal timer, not like a real world, any sort of like PS2 sundial. As they say, your PS2 should be in direct sunlight at all times, so that you can keep the time. That way you don't play too much per day. I keep forgetting that I can actually follow the arrows now, because I leveled up my fishing rod. I keep forgetting. And I do not know how safe stating works, so yeah. Woo, that's a chunker. Dude, 89 is kind of crazy. That's big. That's big. My record was 88, and I was so proud of that. And we just slammed it. Slammed it down. Two hours. I need to take a quick break here in a second. Um, how are we looking? We're like almost halfway. I'm at the nine hour mark. Um, damn, am I, am I going to be able to do this? 
I feel like I've slowed down drastically. Honestly, I feel like I don't even need to do it now. I, I fucking, I caught a record. I feel good. Do I feel bummed I'm not gonna fucking do this challenge for a third time? Kinda. But like... I've only got... Seven hours left and I'm gonna fucking fall asleep. So... Honestly, I might just call it at the halfway point. I've leveled up four rods from null to fucking... Hero. I don't have to do it again. I was just going to do it again so that I could just instantly get back to catching records, but fuck me. I did it. <laughs> I feel that. I do the work grind. Ugh. I remember it. I was just chatting with somebody the other day about that. I can literally remember just the anger I would feel because it's just like, all right, today I'm doing, oh God, what is today? What's it? Oh God, I've got fucking 8 a.m. at the zip line course to 6 p.m. And then what am I, what am I doing tonight? Delivery, oh, I'm doing 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. delivery driving? Wait, don't I, oh dude, I'm doing 10 a.m. the next day at the zip line course again? Fuck, bro. Maybe I should just walk out into traffic. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's, that's, it wasn't a joke, but don't walk out into traffic. Just don't go to work. It's better to live and just don't go to work. What are they going to do? Get mad at you? Probably. Who gives a shit? Oh, I feel that, bro. Three hours? That's, that's enough time, too. One hour, and, like, that's the countdown. That's when it begins. Two hours, and you're like, okay, like, let's... Let's find something to fucking stay busy with, and then we can get to that last hour. But three hours? Yeah, that's cooking. That's... Yeah. I feel you. But... God damn, dude. I literally... I burnt my, my brain out on, like, working. Literally just burnt it out on working. You can't, the human body can't work that much. To a acceptable standard, I should say. I had co-workers who also work the exact same jobs that I did, but like, I distinctly remember them breaking constant fucking rules and laws. I'm not even gonna fucking fight that. They literally would tell me like, you drive like a pussy. And it's just like, okay, I follow the speed limit, motherfucker. Like, what are you, what the fuck did you just say to me? And they're like, you were doing 35 in that fucking neighborhood. And it was just like, it's a goddamn fucking building complex. Like, we were driving through a parking lot. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. Having a clock in front of you, murderous. Um. Oh, my God, though. I remember one of my coworkers telling me, like, dude, the police don't pull over delivery drivers. They, they get it. It's like, no, they don't. Don't. No. I will not be taking that advice. That's terrible advice. Do you tell people that? Don't tell people that. You should not be telling people that. I have to say I've never have I've never had a desk job, but I I have worked jobs where I've ended up at a desk, and I when I have a clock in front of me, man, I can't do it. It drives me up the wall. I turn into that fucking, that guy from Heroes that, like, tried to control time, and then eventually gets, like, one second to turn back. That's me. Fucking just staring at the clock. Oh, wait, I was supposed to... Okay, shit. Um, how far in am I? Am I only halfway? I don't think I have this time-wise. 
Because again, I will fall asleep at the 18 hour mark, like no matter what. And I am about to hit the nine hour mark. So, oh yeah, dude, I'm only halfway. So I think I'm gonna call it. I hate to do that, but I mean, I, I think I'm just gonna have to say that this is not my challenge. I'm either gonna have to figure out a big fishing technique increase to like do this faster. Um, I just, I don't think there is. I think you might just have to get lucky and be catching donkeys constantly. I don't know. I don't know. But we set a record. That that's that's a good enough start for me. I think that makes me feel like I'm back in action. Um, I feel good. We got the ABS coin. We got some good fish. Yeah, let's get let's get our aquarium. Let's yeah. I'm gonna put that on there. Let's do that. Let's go catch it. Can we catch a Mardan? Ugh, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna go save. All right. I am sorry, y'all, that I'm gonna bail on you. I apologize. I wanted to stream and get the whole 100s, but this challenge is too hard, man. This is this is not it. I should I could I could try again another day. I did pretty well. 53. If I could get here in like 30 minutes and then You know, truthfully, if I pushed resilience and strength, I might be able to reel in fish faster. Okay, well I'm about to I'm I'm taking off Sorry. No way I'm pulling off all 100s. Sorry to bail. Oh shit, I didn't even save. Yeah, I'm sorry, everyone. I am... I'm cooked. You two catch you in another DC2 stream. Hopefully. Take care, everyone. Thank you all for stopping by and watching. I hope to see you all soon. If I don't see you in my stream, I hope to see you in another stream. Um, but yeah, that was that was fun. I just there's no way. Uh, yeah, look at that. Chapter two, 53 minutes. That's when I saved. I think I got there, and we just spent eight hours, and we're halfway done with the rod. So I'm gonna have to do four more of those segments plus breaks. There's just no way. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm too tired. But we got it. New record on the Prisklean. I'm going to put that up. I'm excited for that. That's 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 fucking fun. I didn't want to do a clip of the the 84 centimeter one, but that 89, that fucker's going up, baby. Yes! Good enough. All right. Failed one, achieved another. Take care, everyone.